Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. I'm Dr. Brad Wayne. And we are just going to evaluate some drinks. Sports spoiler. drinks, energy drinks, rehydration drinks. You see them everywhere, lots of adverts. Yeah, spoiler alert. I like water as yeah. the best hydration drink. Okay. However, these drinks are all around us, so let's see what the deal is. I don't mind some of the lower sugar uh, ones, and there, there are lots of them. So Gatorade is owned by Pepsi. Powerade is owned by Coca-Cola. Um, there's vitamin water that 50 cents sold for about $100 million. Not so 50 cent anymore. Could have to change his name. Yeah. And then the most recent one, so Logan Paul and KSI have launched their version mm -hmm. of an energy, or sorry, of a sports drink, mm -hmm. no caffeine, just for rehydration. So the question is, do we need these? Because they're very expensive and sometimes yeah. they have excess calories. So yeah. what's the answer, Paul? At the end of the day, these things all have sort of electrolytes in them. Yeah, so, so salt, potassium. Sugar, varying amounts. Yep. And of course, water. Yep. Um, and some other, they'll throw in some other things like different proteins or amino acids and that. Some vitamins sometimes. So yeah, you don't need this if you're gonna exercise, right. okay? You don't need it, however, they taste good yep. often. I like the taste of some of them anyways. And if this is what it takes to get you exercising, and go for it. Do it. So the question is, does anyone ever need to replace their electrolytes during exercise? I think if you are an elite athlete that's pushing it very hard right. and you're going beyond what's you know physiologic for the average person, then yep. yeah, you might need some electrolyte replenishment. Right. Um, for sure the average person, no, but you know, what do you think? Yeah, for sure. So the need for not only hydration, but for electrolytes is going to determine on the intensity of the exercise, the duration of the exercise, and the ambient temperature wherever you're exercising. Yeah, yeah. If you're sweating a lot and losing a lot, then uh, yeah. Or if you're making a video and you're getting thirsty, then for sure. I mean, yeah. But the bottom line is, bad. yeah, the bottom line is, Watch out for the excess sugar because these calories can really sneak up on you. Any calories yeah. that you drink are excess calories. Now I'm in my prime. You are. So I like the name of this one. Okay. And the lime's quite nice. And I've watched you chug the <laughs> orange before in our short form video. Yes, which you can check out a little bit later. So take home messages. If you're exercising, definitely it's critical to hydrate. Primarily hydrate with water. If you're gonna be going for longer periods of time, you can consider some of these sports drinks that exist. And don't overdo it. Don't make your only liquid intake be an energy drink or a re rehydration type drink like this. Really, water is the main thing to go to when you're thirsty, but if you wanna have one when you're working out and it gets you out there to work out, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do to get active. And if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health and in charge of what you drink. We'll see you next time.